Hello, everyone. I'm going to read another story to you today from a textbook that I have from elementary school called Green Light Go. I read the story the other day called My Name Is Not Hey You. So this one today is called Too Quiet. There aren't as many pictures, but I'll show you as the I'll show you the pictures as we go along. So just pay close attention and we'll talk to, about it and discuss it as we go through the book. All right, too quiet, here we go. An old woman and an old man lived in a big city. One day they thought they would move. This city is too noisy, said the old woman. We will move to a quiet country place, said the old man. So they moved to a quiet little house near a quiet little town in the country. No cars or trucks went by their little house. No children played there. The country is very quiet, said the old woman. Maybe there is not quite enough noise for us. Yes, the old man said, it is very, very quiet. Oh dear, said the old woman, we are not used to so much quiet. They both felt a bit unhappy. Well, I can do something about that, the old man said. He went to the little town. Soon he came back carrying a cage. What do you have in that cage? asked the old woman. A bird, said the old man. Now we will have a little noise around here. Sing, bird, sing. The bird sang. But he was quite a little bird and he sang only soft little songs. The house was almost as quiet as ever. It is still too quiet here, said the old man. We are used to more noise than that. Well, the old man said, I can do something else. He went back to the little town. This time he came back carrying a box. Mm, let's see what's in the box. What do you have in that box? The old woman asked. A kitten, said the old man. Kittens make more noise than little birds do. Pat her and see. The old woman patted the kitten. The kitten sat on the old woman's lap and purred, but she purred very quietly. After that, the kitten just walked around the house, had milk and fish, and mewed her soft little mew and purred her soft little purr. The house was almost as quiet as ever. Too quiet for us, the old woman said. Wait, the old man said, I have another idea. He walked to the little town once more. Now what is it, the old woman asked when he came back with a box. A puppy, the old man said. I know we will have real noise now. A puppy always makes a lot of noise. Call him and you'll see. The old woman called the puppy. The puppy jumped and wagged his tail. He barked, but his barks were only soft little puppy barks. House was almost as quiet as ever. A bird, a kitten, a dog, said the old woman. What else makes noise? They both thought and thought about it. So see, they're thinking. I know, the old man said at last. He smiled. I know just what we need. He told the old woman his new idea. She laughed. Yes, yes, she said, giving him a hug. That is what we really need. And that is what we will get, said the old man. But first, there are some things for us to do. The old man made some penny toys and penny whistles. Next, he painted the house door red. Then he put a big bell over the door. The old woman made some cookies. Next, she made some candy. Then she made a lot of ice cream. Oh, see, huh. making all this stuff. And then the old man made two huge signs. Going to town, he put up one of the huge signs there. Coming back, he put the other sign on the red front door. It said, ice cream, penny toys, penny whistles, penny candy, penny cookies, pets to play with. The old man began to ring the 
bell over the red door. The sound of the bell went all the way to the town. The old man and the old woman sat and smiled and waited. All at once they heard noise. It was the sound of feet running down the road. There was another noise. It was the sound of children laughing. The children came running to the children's store. They came to buy the penny cookies and the penny toys and the penny whistles. They came to eat ice cream and to play with all the pets that the old man and the woman had. Now the birds sang long high songs. The kitten purred and purred and the puppy barked and jumped and wagged his tail. Laughing and shouting, the children called to one another. They blew the whistles that the old man had made. The old man and the old woman smiled at each other. She gave him a hug and he gave her a hug. The noise was like music to them. At last in their house in the country was not too quiet for them. Oh my, wasn't that a beautiful little story? They moved away from the city because it was too noisy. They moved to the country thinking they'd love the peace and the quiet, but they found that the peace and the quiet was too quiet. So then they came up with plans. So everyone, whenever we have a dilemma, all we have to do is sit and think about a plan. Their first plan getting the bird didn't work. The second plan getting the kitten didn't work. The third getting the puppy didn't work. But the fourth plan worked when they decided to make cookies and toys and then have something that children would want to come and see and then they got to play with all the animals. So don't give up after one, two, three, four, or even if it takes you five or six tries, however many tries it takes, you will eventually figure it out and it'll be perfect. Thanks for listening.